Age-Related Macular Degeneration with Dr. Anna Jurisic. My name is Dr. Anna Jurisic. I'm a low vision optometrist working in Toronto. I help people living with various degrees of sight loss achieve their vision goals through the use of specialized vision aids and assistive technology. Today, we'll be speaking about age-related macular degeneration, also known as AMD. AMD is the leading cause of vision loss in individuals over the age of 50. It affects the macula, which is a small central part of the back of the eye responsible for the finest detailed vision. There are two forms of AMD, dry AMD and wet AMD. Dry AMD is more common and less severe. It occurs when the macula becomes thinner and cannot support photoreceptors, which are cells in the retina that start the process of turning light into images. Dry AMD can turn into wet AMD when blood vessels below the thinning macula swell and leak blood and fluid into the eye. This can lead to a rapid vision loss if it isn't treated. Thanks to modern research, a treatment called anti-VEGF can slow or even prevent vision loss resulting from wet AMD. VEGF stands for Vascular Endothelial Growth Factor and is a protein that increases the blood supply to cells. In AMD, there is too much VEGF and extra blood vessels grow in the eye. These blood vessels can burst leading to wet AMD. Anti-VEGF treatments block VEGF, which stop the eye from making extra blood vessels. The treatments are given as injections, usually every one to two months. AMD has few symptoms in the early stages, so it's important to have routine eye examinations. While there are no treatments for dry AMD, vitamins and minerals have shown to help slow down the progression of the disease. If you've been diagnosed with macular degeneration, speak with your doctor about nutritional supplements that may help protect your vision, and also ask about vision aids that may be of benefit for you as well. This video is meant for informational purposes only. For specific advice, please visit your doctor. This video was created in partnership with Fighting Blindness Canada and AMI. For more information, visit ami.ca and fightingblindness.ca.